Hi, Cancer. All right, we're going to see what's going on for you. Cancer Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. What is happening for Cancers? What do they need to know? Overall energy is the Ace of Wands. We have the King of Wands here, the Hermit, the Ten of Coins, the Knight of Coins. We have the Ten of Cups, and then we have the Four of Swords. Under the deck is the Ace of Swords. So, wow, Death and Tower back here. So it could be a Scorpio involved somewhere, but also that's a major ending temperance. Okay, you may have not heard from someone for a while because they're making some type of major life change. It can mean a divorce, but it can also mean moving, job changes. Yeah, four of coins. This person, if you haven't heard from them, it could be that, well, they're still watching you though. They, they haven't let go of you, but they, yeah, they may have had to move or something like that, divorce. Oh, look at the King of Wands is under this deck also. Okay. This person might, you know, text you or message you out of the blue. I think it's going to be good. This person, though, might be married. They have the two good tens, but let me see. They have the Ten of Cups again and the Chariot. So this person may have moved somewhere where they're happier, where they, you know, enjoy where they live. Page of Wands and the Five of Swords. But they're reaching out to you finally, is what I'm kind of getting the Five of Swords. Like they had to settle in or they had to work on their new job or they're, re some of them, they were remodeling a house or something. Hermit with the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups. I feel like they still have feelings for you. This person definitely could be married for some of you, and you would know that. But during their absence, they still wondered about you, thought about you, maybe looked online to see how you're doing, reread texts or emails possibly. King of Wands and the King of Swords. So this person could be hot one day and cold the next day, though. I mean, obviously, there could be two people you are dealing with, but when they're sitting next to each other, it's like one day they're on, one day they're off. It's hard to read somebody like this. Why are they like this? Death. Oh, okay. They may have had a condition such as bipolar or something where maybe they needed to get some medication, maybe because it's saying it's over. I mean, this could be two men who ended a relationship also, obviously. I could read it that way, if that makes sense. But... um. You know, they stopped or they ended that situation, or it could be two men fighting also over like a family estate. What is a knight of coins? We have the devil and the five of cups. So this is somebody who definitely has some type of long-term like hold, like they really think about you. This is probably somebody maybe you've known for years. Um, obviously it could be a Capricorn, but... What is the Ten of Cups with this person? Lovers and the Page of Swords. So they may be thinking about being with you. If they're married to someone, they're still spying on you and watching you. They may think about having the Ten of Cups with you, but what is the outcome of the Four of Swords? But they're not taking action. That's what I was worried about, the Four of Swords. This person may be, they can be maybe stubborn. This person is drawing you in, Cancer. That's what they're trying to do. So it starts out really fun and flirty, and like, but they want you to like kind of follow the lead. What is the death card? One more, four of wands. But they have more stability. Okay, they may have left a relationship here, and now they're starting over with the four of wands. They may have become more stable in their own health, mental health, or something like that also. What are they thinking about you? The sun. Okay, so they, you do make them happy. They have thoughts about you. Okay, so they're saying they're saying they're they may be starting to post things online, pictures online of houses or something like that. These cards are like every which way, so I'm just not gonna look and pull one. Let me see. So we have Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting or hesitation. Yeah, they're hesitating. You can see it in their outcome. That may be what I'm seeing here also hot and cold. Like one day they're like, yeah, they're on. They want to go for this day. They want to come see you. The next day they're insecure. They're thinking like, oh, I've done something that uh, they're going to be upset with. I don't know if I should do this. What is the five of cups? Oh, I flipped it around. Eight of coins, six of coins.
they've been working a lot they also may want to purchase some things they may work in purchasing or you might but this can be uh, buying things making money buying things they may have been overly obsessed with their work before in the past with the devil also being here they may put their work their company whatever and before you what is the eight of swords nine of wands the nine of swords and the knight of coins okay seven of swords one more strength this person really needs to like get a pair and get over here and talk to you because they're freaking themselves out now they have all this really nice energy and i don't think this person is married they may have divorced is what i'm seeing here but they have all this really nice energy but they've done something to you in the past which makes them scared to even talk to you let me do one more okay healthy choices so make healthy choices in your love life and their self-love self-care and being happy so of course taking care of you not really worrying about this person all right giving of themselves one more please supportive i think they want to be more supportive i think they want to give to you in some way the six of coins um one more of the five of swords wheel of fortune one more four of coins holding back that's what I'm saying, you guys. This person, like one day they're like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to call. Yes, I'm going to make the effort. I'm going to text, whatever. And then the next day they're like, oh, I don't want to. I'm afraid. I, you know, screwed up in the past. So this may not be the right person for you anyways. They do have dreams or fantasies about the two of you coming together. I do see that they're very attracted to you. So Give me one card about this person, what we might need to know. One card, please. Four of Cups. So again, for some of you, you may not want their cup. That's you. I don't think it's them. Five of Wands. There could be some arguing. You may be heartbroken by, from them. And Six of Wands, Victory. So I'm getting that, again, Nine of Wands. A lot of you are going to put down boundaries with this person. You are not going to accept their explanation, their communication. You might talk to them. You might um, have an argument. So some of you have already made up your mind when this person shows up and reaches out that you're just not not going to de deal with this person. Maybe the healthy choice is to say no to this person. Maybe they were stingy in the past four of coins, but now they want to give more. Maybe they were cheap in the past. That's what I'm getting for some of you. Maybe this person was cheap, but um, I'm going to extend this reading. I'm going to put the link below. It's on Gumroad and Vimeo. Vimeo has the preview but if you want to go to gumroad which is a little i'm going to make it a little bit cheaper because they take way less fees out than vimeo you can buy it on either one same same video but we're going to see what this person thinks about you how they're thinking and feeling where this could head if potentially if you guys got you know back together and any other advice so i'm going to put that below have a great week you guys and i'll talk to you soon